Hi everyone, we have a very exciting day. We have more fish coming to our facility and I will show you what do we do when the fish gets here and how we load them into the tanks and do the acclimatization process. So here we are showing the acclimatization bins where we will transfer the fish from the truck into these bins then into our tanks. And what we see in there is that we mix fresh water with aquies and we added in uh, pure oxygen so the soft oxygen would be help with this small cylinder and we are making sure the bubbles are coming through and oxygen levels are increasing we need to make sure that the cylinder it's a high pressurized gas is securely tightened and it's not going to fall over the oxygen is still 8.6, not fast enough. So while we're preparing the water, we are unloading the boxes from the truck and we chose as a transport mode to use this uh, styrofoam boxes with about 10 liters of water and uh, fish uh, so far looks fine. Here we are measuring three boxes. What is the dissolved oxygen levels and what is the temperature? We want to make sure and take notes that the temperatures from the boxes aren't so different from the ones in our tanks. So here we have checking water quality, but also to open the lids and make sure that the fish is fine. And there they are. So here is a barramundi also known as Asian sea bass, which is the main fish we are doing research and development projects with at JCU in Singapore. So the first step is to make sure the water is fine. Another thing is we check, uh, whenever we have fish into the facility, we will check their weight and you can see this about 33.7 grams. So we will measure 20 to 30 fish every time to get their average body weight and standard deviation. And here is the uh, fish. They uh, look dead, but they're not. They just heavily sedated. So when we put them on the scale, they're not jumping. The scale is not jumping uh, and we can get a precise reading to get that average body weight. And just here, a check that the fish is looking fine. Uh, it's a little bit on the skinny side, but that's normal because two days, the day before transport and during the transport day, we don't give any food. Otherwise they can regurgitate. So it's not good for them. Like when we ourselves do surgery, the doctor tells us not to have anything prior. And so is the fish when we are transporting them. See now what you see, we are loading water from the bags into this polarimeter. It's, a, it's kind of a spin disc kind of uh, device where we get multiple parameters of water. We occasionally use the ones you see there on the right, sorry, on the left hand side, those aquarium kits. We use them quite a lot, but in some situations when we want more precision and less subjectivity, we go for this uh, spin disc. As we get, for instance, alkalinity 100 pH is low in this transport water, it's kind of expected. But ammonia was 0 0.5 and nitrite, nitrite was 0. So, what you're seeing here, we are transferring. We do not want the water from the transport to come into our um, facility because that water, as you saw, it had a 0.5 and a lower pH. And as you see, the water is a bit purple because we add in potassium permanganate. And the idea is that this potassium permanganate, also known as condis, crystals, uh, fish to get rid of any external parasites like the cryptocarrion irritants, also known as the white spot disease, Neobenedinia or gill flux. So as soon as fish enters a fresh water with this 
potassium permanganate, it any parasites will fall off. So that's the reason why we are doing this. It's like a preventive treatment because we don't want to risk having any parasites to come into our recirculation system. Because if we did, it would be disaster. Because parasites are very difficult once they are in the system, very difficult, almost impossible to get rid of. So after the fish has been there for anywhere from a few minutes to, well, we want them to be taken out of those uh, acclimatization bins as soon as, as soon as possible. So as soon as we unloaded all the fish from the truck into them, we give about 10 minutes and then we start to move it back. But here's the team just trying to give some feed to see if they are on eating. YouTube. <laughs> so appreciate, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this type of content. And I see you in the next video.